Hello Gemini, welcome to August. This is Teresa from Tarot by T and I'm getting ready to do your August Tarascope. And before I do that I want to create some sacred space around this reading. Call in some good energy. And I want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for those who have ordered readings. Um, I enjoy working with you and I enjoy hearing from you and hearing that the, um, the readings have been a help to people. So this month we have two eclipses, a lunar eclipse in Aquarius on August 7th and a solar eclipse on August 21st, which is a new moon. So the lunar eclipse is a full moon and the new moon is in Leo, which is favorable to your sign. And the houses that are going to be affected are your ninth and third house. So the full moon will appear in your ninth house, which is a, the house of education, higher education, travel, long distance travel, publishing. And the third house is the house of communication and neighbors, siblings, um, brothers and sisters, um, aunts and uncles, but basically communication, which is right up Gemini's alley. So some you might be finishing up some communication project and or publishing project and getting ready to start a new beginning or a new something new um, with the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse in Leo, you're going to be it, it's going to be a communication project that really expresses who you are and it, it's going to put you on your soul path because this new moon eclipse, this solar eclipse, is connected to the North Node. It has Mars. It's the Sun, Moon, Mars, and the North Node are all in Leo at this time. So that's um, a sign of you're going to have the energy of Mars to go after what you want, to express yourself, and you're going to also be with the North Node. It's like you're, uh, you're being called to follow your soul's path, your destiny. So, you know, we all come into life with a purpose, and sometimes we know it, sometimes we're struggling with it. You're going, to be, uh, you're going to be closer to finding out what that is or closer to following your, your heart's desire in August. Um, so the full moon has us finishing up things, finishing tying up loose ends, finish, getting rid of whatever no longer serves us, um, releasing from the past. And then the new moon um, is a whole new beginning, a whole new ball game, ball of wax. <laughs> So, let's see what the cards say. What does Gemini need to know about love and relationships for the month of August? And um, anything else that's important, especially around the full moon eclipse or the new moon and the new moon eclipse. So, sometimes the full moon can eclipse things from our lives. So, you might be seeing things leave that you no longer need. You might be severing ties with people or um, situations that have outlived their usefulness um, and so you're just preparing for the new for the solar eclipse so let's see what Gemini needs to know for August the Knight of Wands the Nine of Wands the Hierophant the King of Wands the Ace of Wands the Wheel of Fortune, the Temperance, the Magician, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is great. So you have the Knight, the Knight of Wands here, crossed by the Nine. Um, the Knight of Wands, you might be, you know, changing your location. Either you're moving or your job is changing in some way. So the Knight of Wands represents travel and adventure. You're ready for adventure. You're ready for something new. Um, so it could be a new relationship. Uh, although, yeah, okay, it could relate. You're going to have new beginnings in both career and relationship. So the Knight of Wands, if it represents a relationship, it represents someone who's really a lot of fun. Um, and that could be you, too, because it's the first card. Um, Someone who may not be that reliable, but when they're around, they're a lot of fun. But they may not always keep their promises. The Knight of Wands has like restless energy. Something that, you know, I'm always, they're wanting to do something. They're always wanting to, they have this ex, um, exciting, fun energy. So they may call you up and say, hey, let's do this. What are you doing? Very spontaneous. 
And you can be like that too. Geminis are very spontaneous. Geminis get bored very easily. So you may just like to travel just to shake things up a little bit. Um, the, nine of, the Nine of Wands represents, um, in any case, you're looking for adventure. The Nine of Wands represents defending yourself or standing up for what you believe in. So you might, there might be a, a person comes back or something that you thought was done and finished. Um, some problem comes up and you have to deal with it again. So you may be, especially with Mercury retrograding, uh, Mercury will go retrograde in the middle of August. Um, August 12th, it's, I think it stations on the 12th and it goes retrograde on the 13th. And it will be retrograde until September 5th when it starts to go direct again. So there may be, you may have to revisit something that you thought you were done with. You may have to tweak something that you thought Okay, I, I, you know, you might have wrapped up a project and thought sent it off to be published or shipped or whatever, and there might be something that you have to redo. Um, it also could mean a relationship comes back from the past, um, someone that you thought you were done with, and then all of a sudden you have to deal with them again. So that's a possibility. Um, in any case, the nine you're getting to the. It's also the other the other meaning of the nine of wands is you've been really working hard toward a goal. And you're like so you you're so tired of the struggle, and you're ready to quit. It's like oh, I just can't take I can't do one more thing on this project, or I can't do one more thing with this person. If you're in a relationship, I've been struggling to make this thing right, and it's just not working, and I'm not seeing results. And the nine of wands is saying, don't quit. Just give it one more shot. Just keep trying, and eventually you're going to see the results. Don't give up. This is a card of you're coming to the end of your struggle. It's the nine. It will come to the end when you see the ten. Um, tens usually mean okay, you're done. Here you're just. It's like you're at the. You're almost near the end of the goal of the finish line. So just keep trying a little bit longer, um, and you will achieve your goal. Whether it's a relationship or a some type of publishing project, because you have that third and ninth house. Uh, it could be education, you're, you're in a training program and you're, you know, almost done with that and it's been a struggle, it's been a lot of work. Um, whatever it is, whether it's working on a relationship, working on your career path, working on a project, don't give up because it's going to give you that adventure that you're looking for. You're going to be, there's going to be movement. The Knight of Wands always represents movement and adventure and fun. You know, you're going to be moving into a new scenario new location it could be cha you're changing jobs or residence or even a relationship um the hierophant in the past okay this represents an organization that's very the hierophant is actually a card of it, it for if it's in a if it's a relationship it's a very conservative one you might be dealing with people who are kind of stubborn or stuck in the mud um they have old um they have old ways of doing things or antique ways of doing things and they're very rigid and maybe you were dealing with someone, you have all these new ideas and they're not open to new ideas. They're just, well, we've always done this for the past so many years, we've done this and we're, you know, they're not open to change. This represents tradition and it represents things that have been around for a long time, stability. But it also represents, um, so it could represent a company that has long uh, very stable in the community, has a lot of strict policies, um, so they kind of feel, it feels kind of restrictive. You know, you, they want you to be conservative, they want you to follow the company, you know, uh, culture. They don't want any change, they don't want something new, they don't want cutting edge, they want what's tried and true. Um, the other thing that this card can represent is spiritual wisdom, because this is the card of the Pope. The Hierophant is you know, you have the high priestess. Well, this is the high priest. Um, and it represents wisdom, wisdom of the ages and sharing that wisdom. It can represent teaching. So maybe you're working on something or you're dealing with some kind of teaching or learning institution. Uh, either you're sharing your wisdom with the world or with people, or you are, you have some kind of message. You have some kind of spiritual message to give out. Um, and maybe you're dealing, you're getting some flack with maybe conservative members of the community 
because they're not ready for your message. Maybe your message is a little bit avant-garde and they're not just ready. They're just not ready for it. Um, but don't give up. Just keep putting your message out there because eventually it's going to pay off. You just have to believe in your um, plan or your project. Believe in your relationship. Um, I'm feeling... So now you have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands could be someone that you're dealing with or you have dealt with that could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so maybe this, if it's a relationship, it might have been someone who was a little bit too conservative for you or too, um, you know, you're, you're on the cutting edge, you're, you're moving into a new dimension and this person's like, let's just do things the way my family has always done them, the way my community has always done them. Um, this person lives in the past. And you're wanting to move into the future. Gemini's are, you know, you've got this restless energy. The King of Wands can be someone that you're partnering with in a business situation, too. It could be a romantic partner, um, but it could also be someone who's very... The personality of the King is someone who's very um, outspoken, bossy, not afraid to speak their mind, um, they can be a bossy at times, but they really have a generous heart. They really, if they mean well, they just like to, they like to help people and they like to tell them what to do because out of the goodness of their heart, they don't want, they want to see them succeed and they feel that they know best. And so they feel they would, it would be a disservice if they didn't tell you the truth. Fire signs are very honest. They're always wanting to tell you the truth. They're not going to be like a water sign may be more covert. They don't want to hurt your feelings, but a fire sign will always tell you that they'll tell it like it is. And so you can respect them for that. Um, so this person can be someone who's like a mentor, someone that you might have been going to for advice. It could be a partnership with someone who's got a presence. Um, this guy, or f even if it's a female, male or female, when they come into a room, you know they're there. They command attention. They have this energy, this powerful energy, this presence. And they're, they're not the shrinking violet type. Um, you know, they blow in and they blow out. and So you could be forming a partnership with this person. And there could be a new beginning. You have this Ace of Wands, which can be a new career opportunity. So it could be a romantic partner, but it could also be a career opportunity. If it's not a romance, if you're not forming a new relationship or a new romance with someone um, who could possibly be from the past then it could be a new career opportunity because the Ace of Wands represents a new beginning that you're really enthusiastic about. And it could come out of the blue because you have the Wheel of Fortune in the future, especially, you know, this this new moon eclipse. Um, let's see, what, what did I say? Uh, oh, yeah, the ninth and the third. The new moon eclipse is affecting your third house, which is a house of travel, short distance travel. But the, the, the eclipse is favorable. It's trining Uranus. So Uranus um, is the planet of the unexpected. It's the planet. It's something that's going to free you. So there could be this opportunity that comes in August as a result of this solar eclipse um, that puts you on a new career path or puts you in a new relationship in some way, new partnership that comes out of the blue, um, unexpected, but it represents opportunity. And it's an opportunity that's going to lead to adventure. And it's going to an opportunity that you may have to travel to take this opportunity. Um, but it's going to be a good one for you. Because it's going to lead you to um, a situation that's going to be much more um, balanced. Much more in harmony with who you are. You have the temperance card here. This is a card of finding a balance. Compromise. So um, you want to be careful not to be rigid because this could be you or the other person that you're dealing with. You want to try to see things from another person's perspective and not be too rigid. Um, so it's, this is a card of blending energies. It's, it's, it's like work-life balance. You want to have work-life balance. But it also means um, not going to extremes. Don't go to extremes of behavior, extremes of emotion, extremes of reaction. Try to find the middle ground. So don't overwork or don't get, you know, whatever whatever direction you're going in, don't go to the extreme of that direction. Just try to find uh, a compromise. Try to meet someone halfway. 
and then you could develop you can then create something really successful and really beautiful whether it's a, if it's a relationship you know you could be connecting with someone from the past because mercury retrogrades there um so you may want to resolve some things that were left hanging maybe there was something um like one of you moved away and there were some loose ends and you may want to um tie up these loose ends or come to some kind of closure um or revisit a problem from the past and then maybe compromise and have a positive resolution so that both of you are happy with the results like you want to create a win-win situation so that you get you what you want they get what they want and everyone's happy um, because there is a good this is a good relationship you have this two of cups here um, the Two of Cups is a card of two people who really work well together and who really see eye to eye. Um, you just may have a problem with, um, the, as long as one of you isn't being too bossy or too um, stubborn. Because this card represents being stubborn, this card represents being bossy. So in a relationship, you want to remember, I have to compromise. I have to see, try to create a win-win so that I'm um, considering the other person's feelings. It's not just my needs, but it's the other person. Um, if you do that, um, then you're going to wind up with the Ten of Pentacles at the at the outcome. The Ten of Pentacles is the wealth card. So you have the potential to begin something that can be very lucrative, that could lead to financial security. If it's a relationship, you're going to feel like, oh, I finally found someone that I can feel secure with. I can feel that we can, this can last, this can be stable. Um, I can sink into this and I know I'm not going to have to worry about money. If it's a career situation, you might be moving into a new career that pays a lot better than whatever you're making now. Um, the magician in your environment, this is a card of manifestation. It's a card, it, this is the communication card. This is actually the card that relates, it relates to Gemini. Because the magician is a communicator. The magician's strength is in his ability to think and his ability to communicate. He represents Mercury, um, you know, the messenger of the gods. So what you have to do is visualize your success and use your skill at communication to achieve that success. Whether it's in a relationship uh, where you learn how to communicate with each other and you learn how to compromise and you learn how to meet each other halfway so that you can create this beautiful home this beautiful end result where you're feeling like, okay, now I finally found the person that I can live with happily and we can build a home and a family together. Or if it's a career, you're going to be using your skill with communication. You have a, This is a card that says you have a lot of skills. You have all the skills and the talent you need for success, um, but you have to learn how to work with others and you have to learn how to communicate in a way um, that incorporates other people's needs and other people's feelings. And if you can do that, then you can achieve this Ten of Pentacles situation. This is the final outcome card where you can achieve that financial and emotional stability. The Ten of Pentacles is wealth, and in many cases it represents financial um, security, you know, money, um, having a home, having a roof over your head, having your financial needs met. But it's, it means more than just money. It means feeling safe, feeling that, okay, I don't have to worry about how am I going to pay my next bill or where's my food coming from. It means that you have the support. It's support. Um, feeling supported, feeling that, you know, you're safe. It's a feeling of safety. And you can have that in August. Um, and this card is great. I love what, when I see the Two of Cups come up. Um, it's a card of love. It's a card of soulmate love in a relationship reading. Um, so if you're, if you're, if you're in a relationship, you're either gonna, you could reconnect with someone from the past, or you can strengthen your relationship through communication and compromise. Or if you're not seeing anyone seriously at this point, um, you might meet someone and start new. And somehow I feel that it's going to be someone from that you've known in the past, you've known before. Um, and you may have thought that, hey, this person would make a good partner. Maybe you were even married in the past. This can be a marriage card. Because um, this is a card of stability and tradition. So you're not going to, it's not going to be a relationship that you're going to want to just like live together. 
it's going to be something that you're going to want a commitment. You're going to want to make a commitment to. Um, and it's going to be a good relationship. It's going to be um, a lot of harmony. Um, a lot of give and take. So for love, I see you know great things for love, and for even for career. Um, so if you're if you're starting a new love relationship, it might be with someone who makes you feel really secure, someone that you could see yourself spending your life with and building a home and family with. If it's a career situation, it's going to be something that's going to bring you in, bring more money, more opportunity, um, opportunity to use your communication skills. To use, you might be writing or communicating in some way or publishing something with publishing, writing, the media, social media, um, the internet, um, any of those vehicles. That's your that's your um, your gift. Because remember, um, this new moon in Leo, which is the solar eclipse, it's connected with the North Node. So you are going to you're going to start use, coming into your power and you're going to be using your skills. You're, you're going to be on, finding your life purpose. I think this is happening to everyone because as a group, the North Node represents um, society is moving toward um, finding its soul path, finding its purpose. We're moving toward our karmic destiny with this eclipse. This is like a very powerful time um, where people are going to find um, are going to be able to have freedom of self-expression more than ever. They're, you know, you, you're not going to be able to live in a situation where you're not being true to yourself. That's just not going to work anymore. Um, we need to be. We need to shine our light in the world, and that's what this eclipse is going to help us do. So, um, good luck, Gemini, and I wish you much love and success for the month of August. Um, and I will talk to you again in September. Thank you. Bye.